Do you have a baby in the breech or the posterior position? Have you birthed a baby in one of those positions? Have you been told that breech babies need to be born via C-section only? Or perhaps you have an interest in birthing and you know that breech and posterior are just variations of normal. I'm Melissa Spilstead from Hypnobubs and in this video we're going to talk about ways that you can encourage your little one to turn around and we're also going to talk about vaginal breech birth. You're going to hear from hypnobirthing mothers who have successfully encouraged their babies to turn into the optimal position for birthing and also another hypnobirthing mother who did her research, she consulted her caregivers and then she made the conscious decision to birth her breech baby vaginally. Little was she to know though that her baby would come so easily that they didn't even have time to get to the hospital. <laughs> so it's quite an amazing story so be sure to watch this video to the end. Now if your baby is in the breech or the posterior position, firstly, I recommend that you download our breech turn track and certainly consider joining our online Hypnobubs hypnobirthing course. Hypnosis can be a very powerful tool and it can assist you to completely relax and let go of any underlying concerns or fears leading up to your birth and our online course can empower you with the tools, knowledge, mindset and support that you need to achieve a very calm and positive birth. I recently received an email from hypnobirthing mum Heidi whose baby was in the breech position at 34 weeks and Heidi had actually been battling with the flu and she told me that she thought she'd coughed her baby into that position. <laughs> so anyway, the midwife basically gave her a week to get that baby head down, otherwise they were going to try to manually turn the baby. So Heidi says in her email, I did the track that night and found I really needed to do the fear release part of the track. There were a few things that had been worrying me and I was able to let go of them a little bit that night. I also listened to Melissa's words of baby gently turning and uterus relaxing. The next day, I went to my acupuncture appointment and got started with burning the moxa sticks on my toes. That night, I did the breech turn track again. This time I was able to let go of my fears even more and really listen to the breech turning part. I fell straight to sleep. Throughout the night, my little baby was very active. I felt him moving his way across my belly. In the morning, I could see that my belly shape looked different and I could feel his head resting again in my pelvis. Sure enough, at my next antenatal appointment, my little boy was in the correct position again. Yay! <laughs> and by the way, I just received a message from Heidi this week telling me that little Felix was born and that it was, in her words, the most awesome birth ever. So as you can see, Heidi used hypnosis in combination with acupuncture and moxa. And I also recommend that mothers consider using visualization, chiropractic care, such as the Webster chiropractic technique, and positioning, such as leaning forward and the hands knee position, polar bear position, where you're making as much room in the pelvis as possible, so you're encouraging baby to turn. Remember too, that most babies do actually turn into what is considered to be the optimal position for birthing before the birth. Vaginal breech delivery is becoming more available as a choice for mothers. However, you really need to do your homework to find someone who will support you. The number of doctors and midwives who have practical training and skills in vaginal breech delivery has dropped significantly in recent decades. With the increase in caesarean delivery for breach, 
you really do need to do your research. Your instincts are sure to guide you in making the right decision for yourself and your baby. Now let's hear from hypnobirthing mother Kate who made the decision to birth her breech baby vaginally and she had quite a surprise <laughs> coming up. I had a breech birth uh, I knew prior that I was going to have a breech birth, um, but um, I, uh, I worked out first that it was a, that he was in a good position for birthing naturally, and I wanted to do that. I wanted to go through that same process and do the hypnobirthing again. It didn't matter that he was going to be in breech. Um, I had a lot of pressure to, to, to you know, have a Caesar, a Caesar, and and do all these other things, but I stayed stuck with my guns and I had a lot of people supporting me and, and that made it easier to, to, to go through with this. Um, and all intentions were to go to the hospital, it was going to be a bit of a circus so they had a lot of people wanting to watch and, um, and it was going to be a bit of a teaching exercise because hospitals don't really have that uh, experience of uh, birthing a breech baby. But um, I didn't get that far <laughs> because I was so relaxed and it, I had all these affirmations going on, I had uh, playing all these re relaxation te uh, tapes, so I was in such a good state that my waters broke, I didn't realise it, went back to sleep, oops, <laughs> and then uh, and the next thing I know I'm, I've got these surges coming on and I'm like, oh wow, I'm in labour, <laughs> and uh, I got a very intense surge come on. Um, went to the bathroom and um, well, the toilet and thinking that I needed to push and out pops a leg and I realized he's here he's coming right now <laughs> and I went into the shower because that was most comfortable for me and where I birthed my first child um, and and when I I sort of I was in there we got emergency on the line and they said that you couldn't birth there and I suppose that's a good 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 that they suggested that because you didn't want to, you know, falling on the floor, uh, on on the tile. So onto the bed I went, but it was great because they still wanted me on all fours, and I birthed my baby, and um, with no difficulties at all. My husband there to, to catch him, and uh, and he's a very calm, beautiful baby, and and it was an amazing experience. So I had two amazing experiences thanks to hypnobirthing putting me in this relaxed state and realising that I just needed to trust my body and, and I, I'm so grateful for that. So thank you. <laughs> it is quite an amazing story, isn't it? So in regards to your own journey, if your baby is currently in the breech position, remember babies most often turn and sometimes they even turn at birth. Number one, stay positive. Worrying is counterproductive. Number two, download our Breach Turn Track and join in with our HypnoBubs Hypnobirthing Online course. Number three, consider using other holistic methods and positioning. Number four, use your brain technique. Have you heard of that before? It's a great way to make decisions. So what we do is we use our brain. We think B, what are the benefits of this intervention? R, what are the risks? A, what are the alternatives? I, what does my instinct tell me? And N, isn't an option to do nothing. And finally, number five, whatever the outcome, I am of the personal belief that babies always know the safest route out. So if you've done everything in your power to encourage your little one to move into the optimal position for birthing and they choose to remain in the breech or posterior position, perhaps there's a good reason for this. So I'm Melissa Spilstead. If you watch this video anywhere other than our website at hypnobubs.com, then please head on over. We have online resources a free mp3 to download, more videos and information about our HypnoBubs online course. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page so that you can keep up to date and inspired for positive birthing. And if you scroll down, I'd love to hear your comments and a click on that like button. 
Do you have a baby in the breech position or have you birthed a baby in that position? Have you used hypnosis or other techniques? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So please keep in touch and let's keep spreading the word of positive birthing. Bye for now.